So we just completed um, the 61st transcatheter mitral valve replacement with the Tendine device that has been performed in the world. It's the fourth we've done here in West Virginia, and there are six centers currently in the United States performing this as part of an early feasibility trial for the FDA. The mitral valve is the valve between the left top chamber called the left atrium and the left bottom chamber called the left ventricle. And in patients that are not otherwise a good candidate for conventional heart surgery, this is a very unique device that uh, we can now start using on these patients that otherwise really don't have another option. What's unique about this, this is the ability to replace the mitral valve without the heart-lung machine, done through a small incision at the tip of the heart called the ventricular apex. And through that, we're able to pass wires, deploy the valve, almost like a, a rose that opens up and seals the valve and prevents the leakage. Part of being a heart specialist, a heart surgeon, and I speak for our entire team at the Heart and Vascular Institute, we are all very good at what we do, but being able to innovate through introducing new technologies that are otherwise not available in all but six places currently in the United States and nowhere within our multi-state region, um, it's very gratifying to be able to offer this to patients, uh, particularly those here in West Virginia.